In this lesson, we are going to be setting up our project in Spring Initializer. Spring Initializer allows you to create a new project and set it up, uh, do the initial setup. Uh, it does the initial setup for you. So I'm going to go to uh, start the spring.io. The spring.io. So at this point, you can now uh, set up a new project here. So the settings I will recommend uh, is for this tutorial, I have specified it here. So you have the project is Maven, language is Java, and we have 2.16, the version of Spring Boot as of June 2019, actually end of June 2019. Now I'm using my own group ID, which you can also use if you want. So my group ID is com.kindsandthegenius. Okay. Uh, the artifact is time leave up. Time leave up. Okay, that's the name of the that's the artifact. Now if you drop down the options, you can see the name also populates as time leave up. Then uh, the, the description I would like to just call it time leave application. Okay, so now the package name is populated automatically. Packaging is Java, and um, we have Java version is 8 as of now. Uh, 8 is very stable and, and it's okay too. So try to use 8 because that is what is used in this tutorial. Um, add the following dependencies. Let's see. So we have, we have, uh, okay, let's see, we have H2 database. So to add dependencies, just come here and type the names of the dependencies and just click on it. It adds, so you can see selected dependencies, my SQL, my SQL driver, uh, Spring Data JPA, just type JPA, okay. Um, then we have time leap, time leap, that is it. And we have Spring Web Starter, so just type web, Spring Web Starter. So, these are all the dependencies you need to add for now, and we are going to add more dependencies later. So after you've done this, so just click on Generate Project at this point, and you can see it generates the project as you can see here. So I'm going to open this project, and then I'm going to unzip it uh, into a, another folder. So this is the project Time Leap App, right? So I'm going to unzip, so just click Extract All, Okay, so I'm going to say extract. All right, have time leave app extracted. So normally I like to place it in another folder that I normally put my project. So that folder is in drive D. So instead of having this, I'm going to just create a new folder and call it time leave, um, time leave tutorials. So that is the folder I want to use as my workspace. So let me place the unzipped folder in there. So we have our time leap app available in a folder in our local system. The next thing I'm going to do now is to, on, is to open this project, this generated project for us in Spring Boot or in Spring Toolsuite. So if you have downloaded Spring Toolsuite, you'll see that the Spring Toolsuite environment looks like this. If you have IntelliJ2, that will be fine, but this tutorial was created using a Spring Tool Suite. So just go to File and choose Open Project from File System. And we locate the directory we installed, we place this on zipped folder. So go to Directory and choose, uh, we have where I place this application. I downloaded this Time Leap Tutorial. So I'm going to search for it. You can see Time Leap Tutorial and you have this time leap up, so I'm going to select it and say select. I'm going to just say finish. So what I want you to observe is you can see Marvin update Marvin project. So when you start, we create a new project, it takes some, a few seconds for update, depending on your internet connection. So at this point, we've, we have this time leap up here in our system. We've opened it in Spring Tool Suite, as you can see right here. All right, so the next step, because we need to actually follow the steps. So, so now we've completed tutorial two perfectly. And the next thing we are going to do is to move on to tutorial three, and that will be to add additional dependencies. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Let's see in tutorial three. Also remember to subscribe if you've not subscribed. 
If you have challenges whatsoever, leave it in the comment box below and I'm going to respond to you.